Welcome back to another episode of the One You Podcast with your host, Josephine. It's just me here today. And today I wanted to share with you the secret to getting results. So the secret is that there is no secret, actually. It's all about hard work, dedication, and committing to a routine that you can stick to. So I guess... That's it. That's it for today. No, no, I'm kidding. But the thing is, so there is actually no secret. There's no like quick way to get in shape or honestly, I'm so like tired of all the misinformation out there about like how some foods will magically get you in shape or how you can get in shape by starving yourself for a week. Um. For me, it's not about that. For me, it's so important that you actually get the results by doing it in a way that is sustainable in the long run. I want you to be sex I want you to be successful not only like the next month. I want you to be successful for years and years from now because that's what's going to keep you healthy in the long run. And you're going to live an even better and more amazing life because you'll be able to do things and you will have more energy and you'll have more energy when you have grandkids and so on. So that's what I want you to think about. I don't want you to think about getting in shape for summer and just like get in shape for the like the next three months and then just forget about everything. This is all about like learning habits and routines and find a way of living that you like and a way of living that will be sustainable for you in the long run. Because that's the thing. There's no one size fits all. As I say, there's only one you. You only have one life. So make sure that you live a life that you like and do it like so healthy living is different from it for everyone. Like you should find a way of living a healthy lifestyle that you like and that works for your life. So that's what I always help my clients with. There's not like, even if I say the way that I'm doing it, it might not work for you. You have to figure out a way of doing it that will work for you and for your life. Because we all have different routines. We all have different schedules. We all have different circumstances. For example, I don't have kids. So I don't know how it would be if I had kids because I know that there's like it takes a ton of time uh, to take care of kids, which is amazing because they need it. They need your attention, but you also have less time to spend on you. Um, But it's also important that you find that time if you have kids. So my secret to the results is actually that there is no secret. There's like it's all about finding a healthy routine that you like and that you can stick to. So ask yourself what, like, first of all, what kind of movement do you like? What kind of movement can you commit to like three times a week? And maybe you like boxing. Maybe you like weightlifting. Maybe you like CrossFit. Great. Let's do that. And let's like make sure that that get into your schedule, but in a way that works. So don't overdo it. If you can't commit to five days, then don't. If you can commit to two, that's amazing. And what I would recommend you to do though is to get some sort of movement in every day because your body needs it. Your body will love you even more if you move because our bodies are actually built to move. So the more you can move, the better. And with movement, that doesn't mean that you have to go to the uh, gym and lift weights. It can be that you go out on a walk. It's actually even more benefits to, like, I mean, there's a lot of benefits to lifting weights, so don't get me wrong here. But even getting out on a walk and get the sunlight and the benefits from nature, that's also going to make a huge, huge difference. So find a way to move your body on a daily basis. That's going to be one key. And when you do that, get it try to get it into like as into a routine because then you'll create it 
and it'll become or not created, but it will become a habit that you crave. So it will be something you can't really be without, which is a good thing, right? Because moving your body will make you feel good and will make you be healthier. So yeah, try to get it in every day and try to make it to a routine so it becomes a habit. That's the first thing I would recommend you to do. The second thing is to drink more water because our bodies are made up by like 60 to 70 percent water. So it's so important to actually get water in, enough water in every day. Try to aim for two to three or maybe four liters, depending on how much you move and how much you sweat. Just like try to get a little bit more water in each day and see how you feel because it will actually make you feel way better. I promise you, I have experienced it myself because if I feel dehydrated and I start to drink more water and hydrate more, I feel like I can focus more. I can think like my mind is just like way clearer. So move daily, drink your water. And then the third thing is going to be eat healthy 80% of the time. So try to like get healthy meals in my What I usually do myself and what I usually recommend clients is to like stick to a good routine during the week because that's when you're most busy and you have probably like a full schedule. So try to stick to prep your meals and have them ready and just like grab and go. And then on the weekends, you can like have a meal outside of the plan, a meal with family and enjoy some good foods that you like. That works really well. I found that like having a day to look forward to when you can eat something you've craved during the week really helps me during a fat loss period. And then like having diet breaks as a competitor right now, I'm in off season and I I am enjoying more like different foods that I don't usually do when I'm on a season and I diet. Um, But right now I'm enjoying other foods as well so that's really nice so it's important really important to find a good balance for you a good way of like I like to stick to my meals during the week because when I'm busy it's just easier to have it all prepped and planned and I can just grab and go and I'll not like have to think about what to eat next and so on that'll just like make it it just makes it easier for me um so Find a good way, like good balance with food and try to always get enough vegetables in each day because they'll keep you full longer and they're good for you. There's a lot of micronutrient benefits. And also protein will be really important because that's what preserves your muscle mass and helps you build more lean muscle mass. And uh, it also keeps you full longer. It's way more satiating than carbs and fats i mean fat is as well but and we need all of them don't take out either like protein carbs or fats you need all of it so keep it in your diet promise you you don't want to cut carbs because that's gonna at least for me that doesn't work because i just my brain doesn't work as well and i don't perform as well in the gym and when I read research from, uh, for example, Dr. Stacy Sims, she says that we really need carbs in order to perform. And even more females, we actually really need it in our diet. Only our brain, I think, is using around 130 grams of carbs each day. So make sure to keep those carbs in your diet. But overall, the most important part to get results is to find a routine a healthy routine that you can stick to in the long run that is sustainable for you because that's when you're going to get the most results and you're going to be able to keep it for life. And that's what we want, right? So the secret is there's no secret or maybe the secret is that find a way of living healthy that works for you in your life. Create routines that will become habits and you'll have long-term results. I really hope this was helpful because in today's world, I just feel like there's so much information out there. There's so much misinformation and misguidance. So this is, in my opinion, what works the best for me personally and what have worked the best for my clients. So I hope you find it helpful. Have an amazing day.